Flash, aka Sidewinder 4.9L, and this is just a little idea of how to take the codes off of a OBD1 Ford truck, uh, 87 to 96 model F series, and so on. As you can see, I've got a little small piece of jumper wire, it could be that or a paper clip. That's the simplest way to do this, and I just leave it right here just in case. I need it for whatever purpose. I mean, it's one of those, never know when you need it. It's type of things, but it's there if you do. And if you really want to get fancy with things, then you can buy one of these. It's the Equus code reader. Um, as far as that goes, as you can see here, it's just a little small doodad that you just plug in, push a couple buttons. It does the same thing as the paper clip and piece of wire and it's about 35 bucks this is just a Chilton's manual it's a very handy thing and it actually shows you in here how to use the paper clip or wire idea like I showed you just a second ago according to the booklet here for the 4.9L engines like I've got with the standard transmission which I have it says that I need to press and hold the clutch until all the codes are sent from the computer to the code reader which is going to be a problem for the simple fact that my clutch interlock uh, safety neutral switch is <clears throat> actually right now is um, crossed over because the, the switch went bad and I'm the only one that drives the truck so I just disabled it so I know it's kind of a bonehead thing to do, but I'm not the only one that drives it, so it's not really that big of an issue for me. But the procedure is warm the engine up until all the operating temperatures are up so all sensors can be reading correctly. Turn the engine off. With the code reader off, then you take your, uh, your plugs right here, uh, undo those. And as you can see how that the the plug goes in there, you just make the the whole thing up. Uh, the single gray connector over here goes on the far end where my thumb is. And when it's all together, it should look like this. According to the booklet, it says to press and hold the on and off button which should flash three zeros and then to press and hold the test button which puts it into test mode and then you simply just turn the key over to the accessory you hear the relays click for the fuel pump and then just press the test and mode button and you hear all the relays kicking in and out and working. Got a code 10 is just a spacing code between codes you see the little black square right here at my thumb is blinking that's what's actually reading your codes right now I've got a code 327 so far And a 542. And a 
code 542 again after it and if you look really closely you might be able to see it here I'll zoom in uh, you might be able to see the little C it, it went from regular mo uh, codes to continuous memory which is what stores in the lesser known codes well the lesser uh, issue codes goes into continuous memory for later use which it won't always necessarily throw a treble light on the dashboard and if you notice I've switched over from the actual uh, code reader to just my simple little wire that I showed you that was laying here and if you'll notice that on when you turn the connector around it is not symmetrical this side here is a little bit longer on this upper side and then you notice how I've got it into this other little smaller connector and if we come over to the paper in the Chilton's book it shows you to connect the, the silver the little uh, gray connector into the short side upper portion of the self test connector which is and if you look really closely you can see where it's short on this side long on that side so it's all connected correctly and we come into the cab of the truck because it'll actually use the check engine light as a flasher to count the codes with this time so as you can see I'm just going to turn the key over all the lights flash on and then you hear the relays kick in again and then you see the check engine light over here on your right and then you see the space and then starts over again the short space the code 522 we first read before then a longer space between the code and so on so on and it's just going to repeat exactly what we got off of the connector I mean the uh, box earlier and it's it's as simple as that whenever it gets through it'll simply stop just like it has and that's it